guys legit the this it might actually be the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me what's up guys welcome back to another video we are vlogging today we are vibing chilling chillaxing um emma is on her way out we are going to ikea i know another ikea trip we go to ikea so many times throughout the year who is that up with shit that we don't necessarily need or use well, that's my fault that's my fault because i like things things are my favorite stuff and boy do i like stuff <laughs> me and emma just had this realization okay first of all we we're supposed to go to ikea we're at Walmart now, <laughs> and we're grocery shopping for the third time today. Why? I don't know. I don't know. We just had nothing to do, and then we went to Walmart. I like I didn't even see her put these in here, but I saw that they had this chicken burger. Um, for these that know, no, I went on this like I used to eat halal all the time, and now I stopped, and now I'm eating halal again, and now. I, I'm excited to try these. Those look good. They Honestly, look very good. I think you made a good decision. Yeah. So, anyways. And if you got honey and that thick Frank sauce, oh, you can make yeah. hot honey chicken burgers. You know what? Let's go get that thick Frank. Oh, those are, that's already spicy though. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you okay? I see what you're saying. Like it's saucy, like it, like the way make, burger. Make a mix. Me. Mix yeah. a mix. Um, Oi! This is what happens when you marry your best friend. <laughs> this is literally you just vibe all day. Why are you just sending me off on an adventure? Okay. Guys, everyone stares at me differently when I have a mustache now. Like, I've got, I feel like I should talk like a scruffy. Oh, Emma really likes the caffeine free Diet Coke. Oh, I'm gonna get her that. Emma really likes caffeine free Diet Coke. And this is, this is a commodity. You don't get these often. Nine dollars for straws, bro. Everything is so expensive. I don't know about you guys, but where we live, everything is super, super expensive now. Bro, do you have a license for that cart, lady? Do you have a license for that cart? I just saw you put a cart away. Do you have a license for that? Get back here! Oh, we got a runner! We got a runner! 416 to dispatch. We got a baddie with a fatty. <laughs> Driving without a license. <laughs> she, did the th she did the thing where she bamboozles me. I said I'd get her Starbucks and she got a treat as well. She, he said he'd get me Starbucks. He didn't say I'd get you a Starbucks drink. I feel like a lot of guys have dealt with this with their wives. You got women, you guys, bamboozlers. Do you know what I have to deal with with you? What? Ghosts? Me breaking my ankle because I jumped out of a window? Me, the police showing up at our door because I did something dumb? And then showing up at my work because I did something dumb? And then... Me, with machine guns with machine guns that i don't know if i ever told you guys the story but one time me and mo got in trouble for um we were i jumped on a train Kobe sees a squirrel yeah Kobe sees a squirrel i jumped on a train in one of my videos and the fucking train we have cn police in canada and they're train police they showed up at my mom's house and my, as soon as my mom with the door, she was, my other brother was at home. So that means they're there for me. And they're like, is Ali Humani there? And she went hysterical. She's like, oh my God. They had guns and They shit. had guns. She's like, she thought I died. She's like, is he okay? Da, 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 da. How did he die? They're like, he's not dead. He's okay. He's in trouble. We just know where he, need to know where he is. And she's like, oh, okay. And she fucking ratted me out and told them where I was. So mom, you're a snitch, but I still love you. Uh, but you know, if the cops come for you, I'm probably going to rat you up. Just letting you know. I say with you. <coughs> Same with you, by the way. Um, and then they show up at my work, and then they call me down, and I, I go down, and um, I get into this blacked out like sh sh Tahoe, this big ass like Escalade looking car. Uh, I think it's a Chevy Tahoe or a GMC Tahoe, whatever it was. It was a Tahoe, and it was big, and it was black, and it was blacked out like police blacked out. Like the front windows were blacked out, all the windows were blacked out get inside the biggest motherfuckers i've ever, ever seen with a fucking machine gun in his hand and i'm like what the, like did i get in trouble with drug dealers or something like i don't know what i did they're like in this video that you filmed three weeks ago you had jumped on a train and for like 5.5 seconds yeah like legitimately for like 5.5 seconds and here's a 150 dollar ticket and i'm like you guys spent more time and more money and more money like the three officers each one probably getting paid a hundred thousand dollars a year 
Um, driving to Ottawa from Montreal, that's $150 in gas right there. And then they probably stayed in Ottawa and had all their food expense. Now, like, you guys wasted more money giving me this ticket than you did. You guys could send me an email. Literally, they could have sent the ticket in the mail. I don't know what yeah. the, that whole... Like, you guys knew where I lived, obviously. It, it made no sense. Yeah. Like, it was just stupid. Anyway, that's kind of good. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Go, boo. Go, boo. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening it's something you don't know a little enlightening It'll make you grow It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dead If you have the will Today's the day. Today is the day I am gonna be putting Mary in a homemade Dybbuk box. I am locking her away for good. It's coming to an end. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna put her away and that's it. So let's go get supplies that we need to do this. Now I know you guys have told me to do this a million times, but it is finally, I, I finally decided that it, enough is enough. If it is all coming from this doll, especially with what's happened recently in the last couple of videos, uh, which you guys have seen and heard and, and, and have experienced with me, we are putting Mary away and then potentially the other dolls away in Dybbuk boxes. Um, I'm gonna go out now and try to find some stuff to put Mary away and seal her ourselves. We have holy water, um, anointing oil, and, and, and other things that we will use to wrap her around that, to, to put her in the box and seal her away for good, and then I'll, I'll probably keep her somewhere in the basement, but at least she'll be sealed inside the Dybbuk box. Before I do that, you guys have to do me a massive favor. I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Follow me on all my social media, and uh, let's get on with the video. What's up, guys? Before we continue with today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers fresh and quality produce from the farm right to your door, allowing you to enjoy the flavors of the season right from your home. HelloFresh's line of kid-friendly recipes is picky eater proof, perfect for busy families looking to try something new for the new school year. HelloFresh offers foolproof step-by-step -step instructions with every recipe. That means you guys are gonna have a joyful experience while cooking and these recipes are often done in less than 30 minutes, which means you're spending less time in the kitchen. HelloFresh accommodates a ton of different diets, including veggie diets, pescatarian diets, people who are looking for healthy and wholesome meals, which means there is something for everyone. HelloFresh will help you cut down your food waste by 23% compared to what you would normally waste at a regular grocery store. Guys, I absolutely love HelloFresh. We did this lobster shrimp pasta dish the other day and it was incredible. They give you enough food so you have leftovers, but you're also not wasting any food. That's the biggest thing for me because I find with me and Emma, when we go to the grocery store, we, we just grab a bunch of different fruits and veggies for whatever we think we're gonna need and we end up wasting it all because it goes bad because we don't have time to eat it because we grab too much. HelloFresh is great because you're reducing that waste and all the recipes are there for you to use. It's incredible and you can select 
how much you want and you can change your diet plan based on what you're looking for. So if you want more meat, more fruits or veggies, that's all available to you as well. So what are you waiting for? Go to HelloFresh, use my link and use discount code POGHF6996 for 65% off plus free shipping on your first order. So go check it out. Links are in the description below as well as the top comments. I love you guys and let's continue with the video. Guys, legit, the this it might actually be the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. I was on my way to Walmart to go buy some boxes for the Dybbuk box that I want to make to put Mary in, right? I only had planned on putting Mary, just Mary, in the box. That was my plan. It's going to go to Walmart, buy a box, and then make a Dybbuk box myself at home, you know, using stuff. And I was going to do it on camera and stuff. On my way to Walmart... I drove by a garage sale. I get out of the, I'm like, and first of all, when I see a garage sale, you guys know your boy is cheap as hell. So I'm like, I, I always, I always, always, always stop at garage sales because you never know when you're gonna find like an old Super Nintendo, an old N64, some classic vintage shit. It's an, I'm a 90s boy, okay? So I stop at the garage sale, I get out, this old woman was, it was, doing the garage sale and she goes oh i was wondering when you were going to show up and i was like what and she just smiled and i'm like does she like think i'm somebody else like maybe she thinks i i i chalked it up to her like oh she's she probably thinks i'm one of her neighbors she's old she might not be able to see very well whatever i look around don't find anything cool and then as i'm leaving i see this box okay i'm like damn this this is exactly what i need a, a, a box that I could put a doll in and it was perfect you know what I mean and I'm like oh how much for this box and she's like three dollars whatever I'm like all right I'll take it and then she says this to me right after I said I'll take it she's like before you settle on that box do you also want to take this one because you might need it for the others I can take all of this stuff out and, and, and fit two dolls in here, like literally fit two dolls in here and might be able to actually fit one doll in the other one. Um, so what the f How did she know? I, didn't, I, I haven't posted about this at all, but this little old lady was like, almost knew what I was trying to do. Like she could read my mind. I'm so like baffled as to how that even happened. Also, I, she had a dog leash that I bought too. Um, because, you know, what not? Heavy duty dog leash. Um, but seriously, like, I am so, so confused. Um, and it was it literally, like, she said, when she said, like, this one for this one for the others, it literally chilled me to the bone, guys, to the absolute bone. Like, Oh my God, I was so shook and so scared when she said that. I, I was like, you, you want me to buy anything else? I will buy whatever you want. Um, so yeah, also weird that she had a dog leash there. Like, but this, like, this is perfect for Max. So anyways, I'm, you know, at a loss for words right now. I'm really scared. Uh, and I think I'm, I, th I do think I'm on the right track here though. I think this is what we should be doing. Like, I, I feel like, I was meant to see that woman and seeing her and her offering these boxes to me um, was almost like confirmation that I'm doing the right thing on, on what I should be doing. It's just so crazy that this just happened. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now um, and we're gonna get started on this. I just wanted to tell you guys what happened and how scared I am. Help, help me, please. Is that a, f is that a gray hair? That's not a gray hair. <gasps> No! <gasps> All right, so I know what you guys are probably thinking. Probably thinking. Holy shit, Allie, it looks so hell. I know, fucking get the fuck out of the way, boxes. Literally, fucking, yeah, I know, I fucking, I don't know what to tell you, I'm fucking jacked. 
been jacked my whole life. It's fucking muscles and muscles, all muscles. I get it, I understand. And I feel with you, it is a lot to take in, but you know, it, it is what it is. And we just gotta accept that I'm jacked as hell and attractive as fuck. It's just, it's just the way it is. <laughs> no kidding. Um, so, we have our boxes here. I have all three dolls right here. And then I've also got the note that we found in the ceiling, as well as the beads and the rings that we found. Because I figured if they were, you know, kept here to contain something, maybe we should put it in the box to contain these suckers. All right, so which ones are we gonna use for whom? I think this one might be able to fit Mary. It's nice, because the, the lid just comes right off. There we go. Sell me, can I fit in here? Yeah, sell me. Oh, I'm gonna have to break her feet. Oh no, shoot. Oh yeah, no, it fits. Oh, we might be able to fit two in here. You know what? Maybe Selma and this baddie will put you two in here. And then we'll stick you guys. She's already got rosary beads on her. So then maybe we'll stick the note in her with you. Oh, you know what? I gotta go get the anointing oil. And you guys already know we do the real deal here. No bamboozling, no shenanigans. This is real anointing oil from Jerusalem. Thank you to the fan, the supporter that sent me this. We're gonna, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, first of all, we're gonna spray. This is holy water. I'm gonna spray that on the box, on the inside of the box. My Mary there. Let's fuck with these two. And then, we will put the anointing oil in the box with them, I guess. Oh, this is very liquidy. So we're gonna put that on you guys there. There you go. So we've got the anointing oil on them. Seal this box now. And wow. Can't ever be too safe, right? Now, this is the one that I'm most concerned about. Mary. Mary, as you guys know, it's been giving us a lot of trouble throughout the years. It's been about two years since I got her and it's been nothing but hell since. And I almost feel like I'm losing a bit of myself putting her in this box in a way. It almost feels like she's been attached like, I feel like a connection to this doll. Um, and it is obviously not something that anyone would want, right? So, we're gonna go through this thing, take these out. For this one, I think we're gonna put the anointing oil first. Fresh battery just died as soon as a, 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 as soon as I was about to put Mary in the doll. Um, she fits absolutely perfectly, which is great. I uh, couldn't have asked for a better box. The fact that we found these boxes at a garage sale blows my mind. Uh, we're sealing this shit up, locked, closed. We're done, that's it. Look at this. Mary sealed away. Selma sealed away. The other doll sealed away. Um, I'm gonna put these in the basement and uh, I'm very, very, very happy with this. I feel very good about this. Couldn't think of a better place to have them than here. Under these dumbbells, in my gym, because um, 
again, I, I, I don't use my basement often, but when I do, I'm usually using the gym. So at least they'll be in here and uh, I won't have to deal with those anymore. I w so I'm gonna have my mom over sometime this week. And when she comes over, I'll have her say a prayer on the dolls or on the boxes to continue with the different boxes. And I may seal them up further. If I do, I'll definitely be sure to record that. Um, but I'm just happy that this chapter is over. That they are sealed away for good. Um, I might also go and put some uh, some pieces like I'll write out scripts from the Quran and put them in there as well but this is good feel safe with this you know what actually I will do that I'm gonna go do that okay so I just wrote on the inside of Mary's box some Arabic stuff in pencil um, and their prayers and I wrote them in Mar Arabic so I'm hoping that that will resolve our problem um, I didn't write it in the other ones just because I'm not too concerned about the other two dolls. I'm really mostly concerned about Mary. I did try to record myself doing it, but the camera kept dying. Um, and I'm, I'm a little frustrated about it because this is a new camera. And the batteries are literally fully charged. I have three fucking batteries charging at all times. And look, this is the battery that I was just using when it died earlier. And it's full. It's like it's green right now. It's It's green, fully charged. Um, so it, it is quite frustrating when these things happen, but all in all, I think we're going to be okay. So I'm very happy about this. Emma, what just happened? What, can you just tell the me what TV you, downstairs just turned on by itself. I swear to God, guys, the TV downstairs legit just turned on by itself. Oh my God. The remote is right there. The only other way to turn on is manually from the thing, and it just turned on by itself. I swear to God, on my life. Did I just see a shadow? Oh, that was, <laughs> that was my end. Okay. Is it waving it? No, I'm kidding, that was me. <laughs> Whoa, that's creepy. That is, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Yo, this is, this is kind of funny. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, that was creepy. Also, why is the heat on? What the fuck? This is weird. Oh, I haven't even told. Yeah, am I, I locked away the dolls, eh? You locked them where? I locked them in the basement. Well, you know what? Just be happy it happened. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. I have to What? Do you not hear the fucking door? It's okay, Luna. here oh my God. Kobe, Kobe, go upstairs no go upstairs go okay. there is the crash that i heard Are you serious? They're not working? Get the fuck out of here. Oh. What did you do? 
I didn't do anything. The lights upstairs are working. Oh my god. Okay. Don't look at me. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me, dude. Holy shit. Um, we were watching Two Broke Girls, um, and you, you guys obviously fucking heard the door slamming. Um, but before we heard the door slam, I heard the vacuum fall over. I did a very poor job of putting the vacuum away. Um, and now, this. I think it has to do with um, putting the dolls in the Dybbuk box. So it was your fault. Okay, I was, I literally yeah. did what you told me to do, bro. What, how am I doing this? I did what you told me to do, fam. Like, well, what do you want me to do? I, I did. Imagine having a husband. Don't play with ghosts. That's what imagine I'm you had a husband that's that did. What I want you to your do. husband does everything you ask. I am. Um, yeah, like four years after you ask him to do a it. Six pack abs and like. Honestly, like... That doesn't save you from stupidity, I'm sorry. No, I think, <laughs> I think, it, I think it drops me a couple IQ points, actually. <laughs> all, the, all the blood goes to my like muscles. Jock Just... over here. What did you say about my... Oh, jock. <laughs> um, okay, so here's here's the sitch. We're going to go into the basement. Or I'm going to go into the basement. You can stay up here. Ah, fuck. No, I'm not coming with you. Okay, you stay up here. You record. If anything happens, I need it, you to record. Just record on your phone. We're going to have Emma Cam going Stop. over. Stop. Fucking shining at me, Allie! Can you turn on your flashlight, Dan? No. I can have to explain how to use technology to this woman all the time. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go down. Thank you, I look great in this light. Uh, we're gonna go downstairs and we're going to um, use the Dybbuk box. I'm very concerned because none of the lights are working except in my office. Okay, well, I'm conflicted because I don't want to be up here by myself, but I also don't want to be down there with your stupid. I'm doing necrophonic downstairs. Do you want to come no, downstairs? I don't want to come Okay, well, let's go down, guys. Um, I was not prepared to film downstairs, so I apologize for anything you may see here or any. Because I, I do. Dude, I do not want to be down here. Honestly, this is the last place in the house that I really want to be. Um, okay. There they are. They look untouched. So, what do we do? Just so gonna do necro here. Babe, you Wait. are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What was that? I don't know. Well, that's concerning. Don't die. I'm okay, we're gonna go up here. Wow, that is a bright ass light. Okay, first of all, I'm Ali H. Welcome back to my channel. These are my abs. Oh, actually, abs not not bad. Anyways, enough shenanigans. It's late. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, this is the situation I've put us in right now. Um, I give you a recap. Obviously, if you guys have been following the video today, this is all. This is still the same day. Um, I've put the dolls in Dybbuk boxes that I've made, um, sprayed with holy water, and I've put some artifacts, objects in there that I think will contain the spirits themselves. But obviously, that ain't working pretty well. So, they're still angry. The other thing is, for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know the basement that we are in right now, my basement, is an absolute hot spot for paranormal activity. We've had two psychics confirm that this basement is a portal. That's right, a portal for spirits to come in and out of. Now, I don't know if it's the basement per se or just the space, but it is happening in the basement itself. Um, are you listening? Why don't you mind your damn business? Just keep watch, fam. The less you hear, the better. Does she? Is she okay? Okay, I'm gonna start neck, bro. Be careful. Don't tell me what to do. I fucking love her. 
Oh, my cat's in here licking himself. Okay. Mary? Mary? Yes? Is this Mary that I'm speaking to? Is? Is this, this is Mary. Did you just confirm that this was Mary? Why are you still tormenting us? I locked you away. Who is this? Tell me your real name. Tell me your real name. Earl? Tell me your real name. Guys, pay attention to the background. That's where I'm looking right now because I see a lot of weird shit. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you okay? No. What happened? My phone just stopped working. I don't know, like, it's it's still on and everything's fine, but it just shut, it just stopped. The flashlight stopped working, everything went black. I'm scared. Okay, do you want to go back upstairs with the dogs? Yes. Okay. Come on, Luna. I'm not leaving you down here. Okay. Yeah, I know. I love you. Sorry. Um, Luna, baby. <laughs> Luna. Luna. What are you doing, baby? Do you want to go upstairs? She's acting weird. What's up, baby? What's the matter? You're okay. You wanna go upstairs and see mommy? Oh, something's exciting here. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Um. This is really weird. Uh, I've never really had something like this happen before. I've never created a Dybbuk box and I don't really know the consequences um, or side effects that come with such an act. But obviously it is doing something. Um, Luna seems to be very friendly right now though. Something is exciting her. Um, she doesn't seem scared though. She doesn't seem scared, which is a good sign. Okay. So maybe I'll stick right here. Do necro. Do you, do you, like, like Emma's light literally went out. None of the lights in the house are working right now except in the office. Um, I want to stay here on this floor because I want to be able to get to Emma in case anything and I want to be able to get to the dogs in case anything happens but I heard a few different things on Necro I need you guys to tell me if you guys heard it as well. Uh, who is speaking to me? Who's causing this to happen in my house right now? Lewis? Who's Lewis? Downstairs? Is that what that said? Who's Lewis? Crazy, too, get slime. What the?
What the fuck? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop that there. Um, this is a little, a little wild right now. Um, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If anything happens throughout the rest of the night, I will record it and I'll continue this video. Um, I think I think what's going on is the dolls are lashing out because of what we did. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know what to do. Should we go open it and like look at them? I don't know. I don't know if I should go open the boxes or not. I think I'll leave them for now. Um, and uh, if anything happens, maybe in another video we'll go open them or, or something. I don't know. But I'm leaving them for now. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Follow me on all my social media. Check out the merch. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. Merch is in the link in the bio below, as well as the blessed merch has made a comeback. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Be sure to check out Emma. She was very brave for uh, coming downstairs to help me with this. We were just downstairs. Um, I didn't record it because my phone was upstairs, but I swear to God, we were downstairs talking in the kitchen. I'm... I'm look. I'm gonna whisper it so you guys know exactly what happened. We're downstairs and Netflix turned on on the TV. Watch this. I'm gonna ask him and she'll tell you the exact same thing. What happened downstairs? The TV turned on right But what, what noise did it make? The Netflix noise. Thank you. See? It's fucking... Netflix. What the fuck? What? I'm just telling them what happened. But why are you whispering? Because I'm like, I wanted to tell them what happened here without saying it out loud near you. To say that, like, to prove that it was, like, I didn't say it and you just, like, went along with it or something. Like, yeah, yeah it's fucking. No, it turned on. Yeah. It's Netflix going well. Is a cult. That's what it is. So is recycling. <laughs>